This is another Craigslist find. This is a uh, going to be another, I believe, a 21-inch Zenith, late 50s, top tuning, tabletop that is uh, supposed to be running. Just that the heads get elongated, she says, when they play it when it warms up. All right, so this is the place here. All right, here we are. Got a DVD hooked up and uh, Lola Hardy playing. Well, we'll get the model and we'll check the CRT. Here's an Admiral from the late 50s. And, oh, the Reader's Digest. Okay, yeah. we did get the number off the top of the tube. It's a 21 CBP 4A, and the decal is way up there. Um, chassis 19Y22. The sock was a little loose, but we managed to gingerly take it off. Um, this doesn't have that other chassis that wraps around. It's it's got a, a more normal, more normal chassis. Uh, anyway, we have the tube attached. Heater's at six. Turn on adjust the heater. We know the tube's good. We just want to see it's been running. So let's see what it. Uh, let's see how it tests. Uh, I believe it's the original. I don't know if it didn't say Zenith. It may not be the original. Okay, tube is lit. I'll give it a few minutes to warm up. Shorts are okay. Emissions in the good. Not stellar, but it's in good. Let's set cutoff. All right, you're back to emission. It's not bad. It produces a viewable picture. So there you have it. This is also here. I don't know if I'll I'll take this or not. RCA I said possibly package deal. Here I notice the record player, but it's been sold. I could see where we have a Reader's uh, Reader's Digest VM 1200 series short spindle and the overarm is loose there you have that wooden cabinet and the admiral which i had one of these but i'm not interested in i rebuilt i was lucky to get only a few dollars for it in this room we have the jukebox i had been looking for the Wurlitzer are 3000 or 3100 ceramic pickup and the record plays again horizontally vertically hmm, the row is for sale We're repairing one of those and this one is also for sale free plays and this one has modern modern songs I like this jukebox I take this back, this is a 2900. The grill is different. Okay, this is a Model 9T246. And that is a 10BP4. We're gonna give that a, a quick test here on the B and K. It's 6.3. Turn our heater. And the tube is, is lighting. chassis well that's permanent not a permanent magnet a coil and ooh asbestos it looks good Three. 
set cut off. Okay. That tube's good and it, it will wake up. It will climb. It is climbing. I was told that these tubes last a long time, so maybe we will take this one. It has the matching stand. Okay. That's a good one. Okay, more TV stuff part two. This is the stand for the 10 inch RCA 9T246. The, uh, this cabinet is a little stereophonic record player which now has the top scratched because they had the TV placed on it. But we'll get this stuff out and put away. Okay, this has been kind of one of those days where it, we have a cold front coming so it's the sun is out, then it starts raining, then the sun pokes out that it rains but I wanted to get this stuff at least in the shed I don't think it's we're gonna leave it out here but anyway in any event um, this is the RCA the front of the RCA with the stand the stand has a little bit of dry rot on the feet there yeah, that's a chunk missing but for the most part it's okay I had one of these stands but I sold it because I didn't have the television that went on it so Mine was in better shape, but this is the stand, the RCA stand for the RCA Victor set. And we tested the 10BP4, tests good, way up. The cloth is a little mangy, and I think this is solder. It's solder on the... They have a, a man who does work, I guess, on these, but anyway. All the knobs are here. Finish is so-so. That's metal. It'll clean up best, uh, best we can. A little bit of rust pitting there, but what do you expect? Uh, the channel knob and fine tuning is intact. That's the RCA, and we do have the back for it. One more look at the inside there. Someone flipped up the um, high voltage there cage. I don't. <laughs> for whatever reason to get the AC cord in there. Oh, and this web core I want to explain. It, uh, this wasn't much money. It was on the way also, not from the same location. I'm not much into clock radios, but I, I seldom see web core and uh, a clock radio with Roman numerals. It's a AM5, All-American 5 tuning volume on the side. It does have a few st couple stress cracks in the top there's a crack there and I think one other one here in the middle where people would always crack them when they lift it trying to get the uh, cover off or whatnot in any event this is a web core um, model number D300-1 D300-1 I know it's upside down but you get the gist of it uh, reason I picked this, I like the um, radio phono choice, and this one actually has a recorder output. This web core was into the tape recorder business. Um, that's about it. Looks pretty good inside. I'm not going to open it up or anything, but uh, that's the web core clock radio. The RCA and um, the zenith we'll put here for now. This table I just happened to find, I was looking for a steel solid table to put something, one of those zeniths on. This is a metal table that you just put house tiles. You can pick and choose your color. This was a roadside find and it, the legs unbolt and I bolted them back on and it's sturdy as heck so we're gonna put the zenith on here. Okay, here's the zenith again. And this uses, in fact, a 21CBP4A. I have the knob. I took it off because I didn't want to lose it. 
It's not a Super Deluxe, doesn't say Super Deluxe here, it's just a newer model Zenith. And, ooh, I did not, I thought that was a crack. No, the safety glasses is okay. Um, let me show you this channel now. Now, as a young gentleman, one of the sons of the woman who owned the shop, had, he's a, still a teenager, and he was wondering how to get UHF on this, and I, I said it probably didn't come with UHF. It was an option at this point. But I do notice there are numbers in the fine tuning ring there. So is it an all channel? I, I'll have to look inside. I'm trying to keep the wind noise down as like I say, weather's changing. Um, one thing he, he noticed that I never noticed is as you turn it, it does even and odd. It'll go four, five. I thought he said seven, five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, and then three, six, eight, ten, twelve, and then eleven. So I don't know how. Uh, how this works, but he goes, it does the odd numbers and then the evens. It does the evens. Oh, something to that effect. It's really bizarre and it does skip over UHF. And uh, I'm going to have to look into this tuner. It does have UHF numbers on it, which is very strange. To get it and this has um, no feet on the bottom. In fact, I'll show you what damage it did to the top of the record player over there because it didn't have any any rubber feet but she threw that in as a, as a bonus and I'll show you the uh, the Mitchell and so we are looking at the bottom it uh, not that it's missing feet it just has the uh, chassis screws I don't know what to do for for feet on this but I suppose I can just put it on the stand for now Okay, I just put a little piece of house insulation on the bottom of that to keep those screws from digging in. And I'll get that knob and place it on there. Okay, and there's our on-off volume back on. Now this set runs, I just had the long, long vertical issue. And uh, I did notice the earlier Zenith top tuning, the tuning is on this side and the volume is over here. The one with the uh, horizontal chassis or whatever vertical chassis or whatever you want to call it. This one's laying down so it has the on off volume there tuning over here. Okay we'll get one last look at uh, one more. And while we were moving here the um, this is the Motorola from a few weeks ago the console with the broken leg and uh, the new power cord and whatnot but the tube uh, this is just the socket just fell off and none of them there are other leads there but they're, they're not being used. They're just trimmed off. So we do have our one, two, three, four, five leads, and I have not tested this tube. It has filament, so it's not broken, but the socket did come off the back of it. Okay, well the rain outside has begun. So, the package deal going down for one television left us with the, the Mitchell. This is the Mitchell Stereophonic high fidelity and I like this the woman didn't think too much of this um, but it's very small it's from the blonde furniture era like I say I don't know if we can put some here to darken that up without refinishing it all maybe uh, some sand and seal or something just darken that up a little bit um, we do have the legs and as you open the top it reveals a early VM 1200. The platter is frozen. Okay, but I'm not worried about that. It was in the middle of the cycle, but we uh, we cycled it. Um, it does have that. It does have a get up here where you can see the uh, stereo pickup. I believe that's a let me yeah, see so that is a stereo Ronette cartridge. Ronette P105. And it's pretty light on the uh, stylish pressure there. Anyway, here's our stereophonic amplifier. High fidelity, loudness, tone, and balance. It 
it uh, I'll show you the back it just has a, uh, a series a string series set with uh, a preamp and two 50 EH fives and we do have the 45 adapter okay, it's frozen it does have a stereo cartridge okay okay so that's the inside of the Mitchell Again, this is probably three feet tall, a couple feet deep, maybe not even two feet deep. And amplifier there. Here's the amplifier. Just a simple three tube. Three tube. Either a selenium rectifier inside, perhaps. Uh, the date code on the changer is about 1958. Come around again. Look at the diagram here. All right, so we have the 50 EH5, EH5, and ooh, 12 AX7. This is that stereo, uh, that era where you would add stereo. This came with stereo. It has two speakers in it, but it does sport the uh, stereo jack here and stereo jack there. So that's the back of the Mitchell. And the woman also threw in the Telefixit publication. And they also made a, a king size where he has a crown on his head version of this. Fix it and coming up in some later projects. I'll just go through a little box opening. We did get the CD drive mechanism for the should I say the word? Well, it's not a Crosley, the classic player. There, this one does not say Sony on it. I noticed, although it did in the picture when we bought it online. Does it say Sony in there? It does not say Sony. Hmm. Well, in any event, it comes with the motors. Should be plug and play. More well, like plug and pray here. So that will be coming up in a later project. And also, we uh, ordered some uh, some ballasts for the cryptic circuline lamp. We had this is only one. There's two ballasts. I need one more for the. 3240 watt and that'll be coming so we'll put two new ballasts in that cryptic gold tri circuline fluorescent fixture we'll use that out in one of the shops here so that's it for now that's the update thanks for watching